We are a nation that has a government, not the other way around. And this makes us special among the nations of the earth. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed effort to convert retreat into advance. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. Each time we gather to inaugurate a president, we bear witness to the enduring strength of our Constitution. We affirm the promise of our democracy. We recall that what binds this nation together is not the colors of our skin, or the tenets of our faith, or the origins of our names. What makes us exceptional, what makes us American. Our nation can be strong abroad only if it is strong at home. And we know that the best way to enhance freedom in other lands is to demonstrate here that our democratic system is worthy of emulation. There are times when the future seems Thick as a fog, you sit and wait, hoping the mist will lift and reveal the right path. But this is a time when the future seems a door you can walk right through into a room called tomorrow. Freedom, by its nature, must be chosen and defended by citizens and sustained by the rule of law and the protection of minorities. And when the soul of a nation finally speaks, the institutions that arise may reflect customs and traditions very different from our own. America will not impose our own style of government on the unwilling. Our goal instead is to help others find their own voice, attain their own freedom, and make their own way. It's time to remember that old wisdom our soldiers will never forget, that whether we are black or brown or white, we all bleed the same red blood of patriots.